What's going on everybody? Some exciting stuff once again is coming out of Camp NVIDIA. You guys may not know this, but they're celebrating a year of GeForce Now, and there's been some new games that have come out and some exciting news that's come out. I've told you guys about the new video cards that are gonna be coming out. And one thing before I even jump into the heart of the video, I'll tell you guys is there will be RTX 2060s available. Trust me on this. They've got a warehouse full of these ready to rock and roll as they unleash the RTX 3060 next week. So as they release the RTX 3060, you'll also be able to get your hands on an RTX 2060. Now, some people might say it's old technology, yada, yada, but hey, if you can get it for the MSRP and it's gonna play your games, I say thumbs up. So let's jump into the heart of the matter of the video and let's talk tech NVIDIA style. Are you building a new computer or just upgrading an old one? If so, then chances are you need a new Windows 10 key. And CD key sales, they've got you covered. Buying has never been easier. And prices for Windows keys are under $20 and there's even additional discounts. All you need to do is go search for the software that you're looking for, add that software to your cart, create an account, and when you go to checkout, enter the code TT18 to get an additional 20% off. Now, let's frag some. All codes are guaranteed, and you'll be up and gaming in no time. As the ongoing GeForce Now one year anniversary celebration continues, this week's GFN Thursday shines a light on some of the amazing indie games available. GFN Thursday also highlights Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord, which is an indie game. They're also getting DLSS support later this week for The Worms Rumble. And this particular game will be free from Thursday through Sunday on Steam and there's also 11 new game titles, many of which are also indie, coming to the GeForce Now library this week. You guys may not realize this, but there's actually over 300 games between Steam and GFN that support some kind of new technology from NVIDIA, whether it's DLSS, whether it's going to be ray tracing, shadows, all of these games are out there have technology. So I know a lot of people before saying, oh, there's no games that support any of the new features that are on these NVIDIA cards. And that's just not true whatsoever. There's actually 300 different games out there. And like I said, the game, The Worms, it will actually be able to be played for free on Steam from Thursday all the way through Sunday. So if you wanna play the game, get in there, check it out, see what it's all about. You can have some fun with that and save some money. If you decide you like it afterwards, well, then you can buy it. If not, you can move on about your day. Now, there's also 11 new game titles that are coming out this week that have different types of support with the NVIDIA features. So let's talk about those 11 games. So first up is Assassin's Creed 1, the director's cut. Next up, we have Darkest Hour, a Heart of Iron games. We have Day of Infamy. Dust Diver, Going Under. Both those titles sound like I'm going down on a girl, don't they? <laughs> we also get Hellish Court. Sounds like some cheap beer that you can't drink. Home Behind 2, Lumberjack's Dynasty, Rise of Industry, Sniper, Ghost Warrior 2, and South Park, The Stick of Truth. Now, all of these games, except for the first one, Assassin's Creed, are actually Steam games. That's actually an Epic Games title. But all of these games will have some type of support for NVIDIA's latest features, where like I said, whether it's Shadows or DLSS, Ray Tracing, the games will all have something in them. Now, I know that currently there is a crazy video card shortage because of all the mining and stuff like that. Um, I've actually talked to NVIDIA today and those kind of things will start to be ironed out. NVIDIA isn't wanting to sell directly to miners. That's not their goal. Miners take cards and then just 
just get rid of the cards. They're not playing games. They're not really helping the NVIDIA name or the NVIDIA community whatsoever. Gamers like you are what help the NVIDIA community. It's the truth. Gamers out there who play the games, who talk about the games online, who stream their games, show people what's going on and talk about it, those are the core people that NVIDIA really wants to sell to. Now, obviously, miners who have a lot of money are going to go in on a pre-sale and buy a whole bunch of cards if they have the ducats to do it. It's not fair. Um, and NVIDIA is also working on things to eliminate this. Um, so honestly, in the future, you will see that these shortages are going to start growing shorter and shorter and shorter. Um, some people have suggested that NVIDIA put a chip in their card that doesn't allow people to mine. Maybe that will happen. Something has got to happen, right? I mean, before the last few years, getting a video card was never this hard. You wanted a video card? You could go and get a video card. Now, obviously, the pandemic and all of us stuck at home means a lot more people have some extra cash and want to buy a video card so they can play games at home. So you've got those and the miners. But NVIDIA is aware of this. And as you guys see, more games keep coming out more and more and more that support the features of their newer cards. So, you know, so if you're a person out there, you already like NVIDIA, you're an NVIDIA like fan, like I'll admit openly to you guys that in my system, I have NVIDIA cards. I prefer NVIDIA cards. There was one point that I preferred ATI cards, but ATI cards got bought up by AMD and things just changed. So I've been really more focused um, for personal stuff with NVIDIA cards. But if I ever have AMD cards, you guys have seen my review, I've never beat an AMD card up. I've always been very fair with them. And the, the thing is, their product is good. There's nothing wrong with AMD stuff anymore at all. They've come a long way. And I'm gonna make a video really soon where I tell you some of the key things that have helped bring AMD to be more of a household name. But for today, hey, I just wanna let you guys know there will be stock. You may not want a 1050 Ti, but for people out there who just have systems and they're just trying to get a nice little system to compare to their console, that's gonna be a great card. The RTX 2060, yeah, I know, it's it's, you know, it's a couple of years old technology, but still, if you can get it and you can get it for MSRP, that's going to be a win, and that's what I'm predicting is going to happen. So you've got new cards coming out. Next week, you're gonna see the RTX 3060 hitting the market. It's gonna be $329. I'm getting an EVGA version of the card, so I'll have that review for you guys, so stay tuned to the channel. But hey, you've got 11 more games. In total, there are 300 games, like I said. So hey, all in all, I mean, I think it's a pretty good week for NVIDIA. If only they could fix the card stock, everything would be roses. That's the only thing right now that's the Achilles heel of the whole industry is trying to get a damn video card. So I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. Peace out. I appreciate you watching. If you like my style, I'd love to see you subbed here. Just hit that sub button, but make sure you turn on the notifications bell or you will never know that I'm making videos. Also, if you want to support the channel, you can do it for free by trying Amazon Prime down below or for a single dollar, one single dollar, you can support me on Patreon and help keep Tech of Tomorrow rolling and rocking. So we'll see you guys back here for more tech on Tech of Tomorrow.